our goal is to write the following two equations in slope-intercept form. And then it gives us negative 5x plus y equals 10, negative 4x minus 7y equals 9. First, we have to talk about what slope-intercept form is. What it is, y equals mx plus b. Okay, this is slope-intercept form right here. Slope, intercept, form. Okay, and why we call it slope-intercept form? Well, right here, this m, this is the slope. The same m that we had from our slope formula, m is kind of reserved for slope in this context. And then we have this b business here. The b is the y-intercept. y-intercept. Actually, if we're being really technical, 0b is the y-intercept. Okay, so it's a really nice way to represent lines. We almost always put our lines in this form for a final answer when we're working with a line. It's easy to graph. It has a lot of advantages, although it does have a couple disadvantages. Um, but first, let's just try to put these equations into this form. So here we go. What you do here, let's take a look at A. Essentially, you just solve for y. All right, so I'm going to take this equation. I'm going to add 5x to both sides. Okay, upon doing that, we're left with y equals 5x plus 10. Notice how I wrote the x is over here. It, I didn't write it as 10 plus 5x. That wouldn't be quite right. Quite, quite right. y equals 5x plus 10. It's in slope-intercept form. 5 is our slope, and 10 is our y-intercept. Right. Let's try b here. I'm just going to rewrite that. Negative 4x minus 7y equals 9. Okay, we want to write this in slope-intercept form, so the idea here is to just solve for y. Okay, no big deal. Add 4x to both sides. All right, that gives us negative 7y equals 4x plus 9. All right, then we just divide by 7, uh, negative 7. Divide by negative 7, divide by negative 7. But you want to break this up, right? We want it to be mx plus b form. So I'm going to write this final answer as y equals negative 4 sevenths x minus 9 sevenths. You wouldn't want to put it all over a single negative 7 because you want it broken up like this, right? And there's our final answer. From here we can see, all right, 4 sevenths is our slope and negative 9 sevenths is our y-intercept. We could write the y-intercept as 0, negative 9 sevenths.